welcome into the Rowdy Studios for today's Big Three with our special guest, Bob Pockris. It's Bob Pockris Tuesday. It is indeed. Buzz Cutler, Bassmasters, wow. talking a little bit after Kentucky, Bob. We're going to get you fired up at okay. the very end, okay? <laughs> we're going to talk about the traffic at the okay. very end. That'd you know, be you, good. You know, have a lot of firsthand knowledge of that. But let's talk about the big news from yesterday. Crew chief change on the 16 car. Greg Irwin is out. Yeah, I'm a little bit surprised, and yeah, I'm not surprised. Um, I thought, you know, hey, you're 14th in points. Any crew chief change is probably going to, there's going to be an adjustment period. And so if you're that close to the chase. Do you want to go through that adjustment I don't, period? I think you're taking a step back to try to take two steps forward. So to me, this is a sign that says they don't think they can make the chase with Greg Irwin, so they made the change now. Um, remember after Michigan, Greg Biffle, they asked him how his, car, how his day was, and he's like, everything is perfect. And he had finished 15th. So yeah. I think that was a sign that um, that maybe there was a well, problem. One top five this yeah. season. But well, not only that, but only two top tens in the last ten races and no top tens in the last five. It wasn't trending very well. Speaking of crew chief changes, there was a big one before the beginning of the season. Dale Jr., Steve Letarte, a lot of early success. The last mm -hmm. four weeks, Bob, have not been that great. Here's what Dale Jr. told you after the Kentucky race. We just didn't have a real good car. Not as good as I thought. We got when we showed up, we were real happy, and we didn't ride the bumps good. The car didn't get to cut the corner good. We could change the balance, but it wouldn't get any. We wouldn't make us go faster when we were too loose, and we would tighten it up. It wouldn't. We wouldn't find any speed in that. So we just didn't have. I don't think we just had a good setup in there for whatever reason. So I don't think Junior's going to panic, right? Mm -mm. But uh, what about his fans? Uh, <laughs> Should I, they be panicking, Bob? I, Would you advise panic at this juncture? He's 20, I, I, what, 21 wait, points? don't panic just yet. Okay. Now, uh, you, you still have, I mean, the th you should be worried about not running that great at Michigan, although, you know, he was doing pretty good, except you, he had the issue with Mark Martin and some other right. things. It looked like he was going to salvage a good finish. Not running great at Kentucky. I mean, those were the two things that might make you scratch your head a little bit because, look, Infineon and Daytona, throw them out the window. Right. And uh, it's about, you know, mile and a half track, two mile track. He needs to be good there. But it, they, they traditionally aren't his strongest style of track. I mean, it's yeah. not like he's at Richmond. It's not like he's on a short track, which is sort of his bread and butter. Yeah, I mean, give him give him New Hampshire, uh, right. give him Indianapolis, and uh, give him Pocono, even though he's probably not, Pocono's not his favorite either. But yeah. if, if he's still struggling after those, then it's time to start to panic. And everybody's going to struggle at some point in the season. Would yep. you rather him struggle now than uh, in the fall? I would never want Junior to struggle if I'm a fan of his. No, because you heart Junior. Oh, you yeah. heart him. You love him. <laughs> Every week with a tape recorder, Bob. Yeah. Junior, it's true. Junior. Wait for me, Junior. <laughs> <laughs> now, Bob, speaking of getting you fired up, Kentucky. They've come out finally and said, we're sorry. Mm -hmm. And they've said, if you didn't make it into the race, you can go to another SMI race or come back next year and we'll give you some tickets. Well, I mean, it was a horrible situation. They built 38,000 seats there. Um, and they couldn't handle what they sold. Their uh, response to me was weak. Uh, you get a free cup ticket, although you're probably going to have to travel to any of those tracks. Right. I mean, at least give them a nationwide and practice ticket. At least right. give them a full weekend ticket. I mean, they're going to go. They're not In just going to go wanna, for one day. You want to compensate them for the pain and suffering. No, you, yeah, but, exactly. But, but, you want to go above and beyond. Right. If you want to go above and beyond, you would be offering refunds to anybody who asked. The, anybody who didn't make the race, and then you'd be offering something else to the people who, who were just stuck in traffic. And the fact that they're not just offering refunds really burns me up. You know, if I didn't like the people at Kentucky so much, because I like them. They're, they're nice people. They've worked so hard to get a race. Right. They've, they've done so many things right. I would call their ticket office, collect. <laughs> I, would, I would tell the operator, you can't go to the bathroom until this call, phone call is over. And I put them on hold for as, how, however long I was stuck in traffic. <laughs> and, then I'd, and then I'd get back on and say, can I have my refund now? I'm not suggesting you do it. Yeah, that's but I'm not suggesting you do it. <laughs> but that's what I would want to do. That's how angry I would be right. if I was one of those fans. That's, and see, that's that's the thing yeah. because everybody keeps saying, well, it was Kentucky's first cup race, but it sure as hell wasn't SMI's first uh, cup race. And whether it's your first race or not, you're sort of obliged to. So, so I think you'd like to make amends. And I think NASCAR has a responsibility too. Mm -hmm. And NASCAR needs to, um, you know, they used to have the Winston preview. 
used to have the sound and speed in Nashville. NASCAR needs to put its money where its mouth is, too, by moving an event that obviously ticked off a bunch of fans. They need to put that uh, sound and speed in Cincinnati next year, mm -hmm. fly in all the drivers, pay for the expenses for the drivers to get there, and anybody with a Kentucky ticket gets in free, and you have a long autograph line and other events to, to try to help make up for it because it's, it's the whole industry's responsibility. Right. To, to get this fixed. What, what did you think about some of the releases or from other tracks? Yeah, this is, you know... That does uh, seem odd to me. Yeah. Well, I thought it was great. Well, you know what? If you don't want another track to take advantage of your issues... Don't have issues. Exactly. <laughs> That's a real <laughs> simple answer. And, and I... And, for the most part, I don't see what's wrong with other tracks trying to give fans a, a good experience who had had a bad experience. You know what? Step on, step on Kentucky's toes. They deserve it. We need NASCAR needs to get the fans back. They need to get their trust back. And you know, if it well, comes at the expense yeah. of Kentucky, well, they're the ones who who who, who made this bad. Well, screwed the pooch, as it were. Well, yeah. I mean, you say, I didn't know whether I could say that. With already. all the tracks having trouble selling seats, you finally get a sellout, and this is what happens. And, 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 and the is thing is, that's about 75, 80 percent of the fans at Kentucky probably had a really good time and yep. had a great experience. And kudos to the track. I mean, the, 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 the atmosphere there was electric, um, and, you know, a lot of great things happened during the weekend, but this one kind of... Not if you were sitting in your car. Exactly. Bob Hockris getting rowdy on <laughs> rowdy. I have never seen him so fired up, except for that one time, but we won't talk about that. All right, for Bob Hockris and Buzz Cutler, I'm Bass Masters. Join us again on the Rowdy.com Big Three. Rowdy.com. Say it like it is. Say what like it is. Robbie.com.